Putin and Trump signal new Russia-US partnership with first phone call on ISIS, trade and Ukraine. In their first phone conversation that lasted nearly an hour, Russian President Vladimir Putin and the new U.S. President Donald Trump have outlined their intent to cooperate on issues ranging from defeating Islamic State to mending bilateral economic ties. Both sides expressed their readiness to make active joint efforts to stabilize and develop Russia-U.S. cooperation on a constructive equitable and mutually beneficial basis, as well as build up partner cooperation on a wide range of international issues, according to a Kremlin statement following their discussion. The White House said that the positive conversation was a significant start to improving the relationship between the United States and Russia that is in need of repair. Both President Trump and President Putin are hopeful that after today's call the two sides can move quickly to tackle terrorism and other important issues of mutual concern, the White House statement added. Home News Putin and Trump signal new Russia-US partnership with first phone call on ISIS, trade and Ukraine. Published time, 28 Jan, 2017-1932 Edited time, 29 Jan, 2017 1.30 Russian President Vladimir Putin, U.S. President Donald Trump Copyright Jim Watson, Odd Anderson, AFP. 10.3K In their first phone conversation that lasted nearly an hour, Russian President Vladimir Putin and the new U.S. President Donald Trump have outlined their intent to cooperate on issues ranging from defeating Islamic State to mending bilateral economic ties. Both sides expressed their readiness to make active joint efforts to stabilize and develop Russia-U.S. cooperation on a constructive, equitable and mutually beneficial basis, as well as build up partner cooperation on a wide range of international issues according to a Kremlin statement following their discussion. The White House said that the positive conversation was a significant start to improving the relationship between the United States and Russia that is in need of repair. Both President Trump and President Putin are hopeful that after today's call the two sides can move quickly to tackle terrorism and other important issues of mutual concern, the White House statement added. View image on Twitter. View image on Twitter. Follow. Sean Spicer at Press Sec. After speaking with Chancellor Merkel for 45 minutes at POTUS is now on to his third of five head of government calls, speaking W. Russian Press Putin. 9.07 a.m., the 28th of January 2017. 3,502 3,502 retweets 7,976 7,976 likes The presidents have spoken in favor of establishing a real coordination between the U.S. and Russian actions in order to defeat ISIS and other terrorist organizations in Syria, the Kremlin statement said. The two leaders also discussed the Israeli-Palestinian conflict as well as Iran's nuclear program. Major aspects of the Ukrainian crisis have been also touched upon, the Kremlin announced. The leaders of Russia and the U.S. have noted a need to restore economic ties to stimulate further development of the relationship between the nations. Putin and Trump also agreed to initiate a process to work out possible dates and venue of their personal meeting. During the conversation the presidents also expressed their desire to maintain regular personal contacts, the Kremlin statement said. The Kremlin said the U.S. president asked his Russian counterpart to wish the Russian people happiness and prosperity on his behalf, adding Americans have warm feelings towards Russia and its citizens. Putin said the feeling was mutual, stressing that historically, the Russians and the Americans were close allies on more than one occasion. Putin said for over two centuries Russia has supported the United States, was its ally during the two world wars, and now sees the United States as a major partner in fighting international terrorism. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube.
If you like donate to us visit home on the page PayPal.